Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria and today's video is gonna be a review video on some product that I honestly never tried before. So I wanted to go into painting palettes for so long now and finally I purchased my first palette that I feel like it's gonna be so much fun to play with. And today we're gonna do a review on this palette, we're gonna try different colors. I decided to make a tutorial at the same video, so we will create a gorgeous look. Hopefully it will be really different. It will be something that I've never tried to do on my channel, so I'm so excited. And hopefully this video will be really fun for you to watch. And this will inspire you on some beautiful spring looks. So the product that I'm going to talk about, as you could understand already from the title, is You Can Be Athena Painting Palette. Guys, if I'm pronouncing this brand or the name of the palette wrong, please excuse me. This is my English, you know, my own English. And I was watching videos where people were pronouncing the name of the brand and, guys, all of them were pronouncing the name in different ways. So. If it's not, you can be, please excuse me. Anyway, I purchased this palette on Amazon and it retails on Amazon per $19.90. I feel like for this money we're getting quite a bit of a product. And let me show you guys how does this palette looks. So here's the palette, guys, and we have here 20 shades and two extra big shades, black and white, and I really like it because let's say you want to do a cosplay or you want to create some look for a costume party or you want to do a Halloween makeup look, it just, you know, it's really important to have two basic colors and an extra amount of these colors, you know what I mean? By the way, this video is not sponsored. I did my own research and purchased this palette. And I want this palette to be a start of new makeup tutorials from me. I just want to try something new, I'm always into this. So hopefully we'll have fun playing with this palette and hopefully these shades will be good enough so I can do more videos for you guys using these beautiful shades. I like that we have a lot of shades here and I like that we have also gold and silver. I feel like it's super cool and especially when you're really into playing with the palette and you have like extra, something extra, I feel like gold and silver, those two shades for me especially are extra. So I'm so excited to play with this palette. And this palette is oil-based, so we don't have to use water, but if we use these shades we can obviously set them with translucent and powder because oil-based colors can smear one into another and it can be a big problem. Honestly guys, I was watching some of these shades to make sure that I will get that um, pigment that I want today to use. I must say that they are really slow to dry and hopefully it will not be a problem today. Also these colors weren't really greasy and they are applying smoothly, at least on my hand. This is what I can tell for you right now. So I did quite a bit of research because I want to use this palette for my eyes today and uh, from what I found I can tell that this will not give us any irritation but I still wouldn't recommend you to use it for long-term looks, you know what I mean? Your eye area is really sensitive and even if it works at the beginning it can give you an irritation after wearing for a while because your pores can clog and it can cause some issues. Also, why did I pick this palette is because I read how to wash these colors and you don't need to use any specific things. You just use your good makeup remover, like something that you would use to erase waterproof makeup, you know what I mean? Today I want to use my Bioderma Micellar Water and I'm almost out of this and this lasted me for so long, I mean... It's huge. I'm so in love with this product. I can't even tell you guys how badly I love it because my face feels so good and this specific product is for a sensitive skin and I have sensitive skin. I never had problems with this and I never had problems with washing my face. Um, obviously, when I'm wearing a lot of makeup, I always do a double cleansing. So I usually do some extra steps, but today I feel like 
this micellar water will help us to take care of the excess of these colors or will help us to wipe some brushes when we will switch from one shade to another and hopefully it will work as good as I'm thinking it will be. Also we can use brushes, we can use sponges and today I want to use two brushes like that. I feel like they will help us to create precise lines and to help us to avoid that problem with smearing shades one into another. I just love doing reviews like that. I'm always a little bit worried, you know what I mean? Because if it will work bad and I'm literally trying this in front of you, then I feel like the video can be a disaster literally, but Honestly, I would save it and I would still post it because I would love you to see this But honestly guys, I will have high hopes for this palette because I have in my plans a lot of looks that I can create with a palette like that So I'm really really excited. So just bear with me here and let's not talk too much and let's get this video started and I want to apply my base right now because I washed my face and at first I was thinking that, you know what, let me do my eye look at first, let me play with some colors, but then I'm like, you know what, I don't want to play safe, I don't want to play just on our eyelids, so I probably need my base to be done to make sure that I can start playing with these shades. So guys, I will do my base in front of you really, really fast. If you want to know what products I'm using today, I will link everything down below because I literally don't want to waste our time on this. So let me do my base. Okay guys, our base is ready, so now I'm so excited because finally we're gonna start playing with this palette. What can I tell for sure guys, this palette is melting and it makes sense for me because it's oil based, but make sure when you want to play with this palette you have some paper towels or something that you will use to wipe this palette because these corners right here like you can feel oil is getting here and something that you definitely need to know so i want to start today from this black shade and guys if you want to follow this tutorial what we need to do right now is to make a regular wing i was thinking should i use just liquid eyeliner from some makeup brands or should i actually use this paint and I decided that I'm gonna use this black paint because in this case I will know how it works you know what I mean and this is like the main reason why I bought it so honestly I wanted to purchase something that wouldn't be super expensive but also would work so I think when you're finding something like that it's just the best you know what I mean so I'm taking brush and I'm basically dipping this brush into this shade from all sides and I'm gonna create a wing Okay, so it's applying really smoothly and I'd say the color is nice. Okay, so far I really like what's going on on my eye. But it's just one line, you know what I mean? There's nothing I can tell from just applying black shade. But still, I like how easy to build the color, I like that. It's literally beginner friendly, you know what I mean? Okay guys, so what I've noticed right now, because of that fact that I have hooded eyes, a couple times I've got 
this black paint on top of my eyelid. If you don't have hooded eyes, you will probably not have this problem, but I had to wipe it. So what we need to do right now is we need to let it sit for a little bit so it will dry out. And I'm trying to wipe this black paint from this brush and I'm kind of having a hard time. So what you need to know and what I've actually read before buying this is that oil-based painting is super messy and I can tell this for sure guys. My hands are covered in this black. Look at my sponge. I need to go and get some backup because it's no go anymore. Okay, so next what I want to do, I want to apply this gorgeous sky blue shade. And with this shade, I'm not gonna play safe. I want to apply this high on my eyelid and I'm gonna draw a wing that will end here. And then I will continue this line right here, parallel to our lower lash line. And I will end this line almost in the middle of our lower lash line. Make sure you're letting this paint to dry and uh, you can set it with your translucent powder and this is probably what I will do next time. This time I just want to see how it's working by itself and if it's just not working by itself, it's not drying or it's drying like for super long time, then next time we will use translucent powder. Okay guys, so here's the result and while I was doing this I was thinking that if I would bring this palette in Ukraine to my nephews and goddaughter they would be probably super happy. I feel like you could have so much fun with this palette. I can literally see how it's drying, but it's drying super slow. So if you're gonna do some like massive artwork on your face, it just it's gonna be a little bit a uh, time consuming thing, you know what I mean? Next guys, I want to use this white paint and I want to paint flowers all over this blue shade. So here what we got. I feel like it's super easy and it looks so neat, right? Guys, honestly, I love it. I love it so much. I'm so excited right now. And I was thinking, should I do this floral wipe all over or should I leave it here? And I'm thinking, let's just leave it here because I feel like it looks so cool. <laughs> So guys, what I'm doing here is when I'm getting into another color, like on the top of another color, I'm completely wiping the brush after drawing a little bit because brush is literally getting messy and I have to wipe everything. And then I want to take small flat brush and apply a little bit of the powder on this area because it's getting oily for some reason. And then I'm going to use this yellow to finish the flowers. You know what, I don't really see this, so let's switch this to this yellow. Oh yeah, that's way better. Ok 
Okay guys, and now let me apply mascara and apply fake eyelashes and if you think we're done with this eye look, that's not true. But I want it to dry so we can make some final lines. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm so happy what we got here and I want to do like a last baby step here. I want to apply this shade to our eyes as well. So I'm planning to add a little bit of the color here and tiny amount here. So just bear with me and just try to follow, okay? I can see this look but how to explain this right and how the flow will go, I don't know. Okay guys, and that's it for our eye look. And I want to wipe real fast our lips and apply some lip product. And I want to start today from my Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in the shade 04. And on the top I will apply lipstick from Nabi in shade Matte Peach. And then on the top of this lip combo I will apply Essence Lip Gloss that's called Shine Shine Shine. And let's set face with a Maven Beauty Rose Water Setting Spray. I want to add a little bit more blush because I feel this look needs a little bit more blush and let's add a little bit of highlighter Okay guys, and here's the final look created using this Athena palette from You Can Be So this is what we created Okay, so let's talk. So this palette retails on Amazon per $19.90. I feel like it's a fair price because those shades are really vibrant, they are semi-soft, they are really really gentle to the skin. I feel like we created such a gorgeous look and I wanted to create something like that for a long time and finally I did it. So I feel like this mission is accomplished and I feel like this palette is such a good palette, such a great beginning of something cool, something different and I'm so excited about that. Let's talk about something that you definitely need to know. First of all, super messy. Super messy, I can't even tell how messy it is. I don't want to even tell you what's going on right now on my table because it's just a mess, but it's worth it. I mean, all this time and effort just really helping you to create something amazing. I'd say that next time I will definitely use a translucent powder because I feel like these shades are drying super super slow and I had some issues because of that. Also, I would suggest you to use a few brushes. I was using two today and I felt like it would be nice to have at least one more because let's say I'm drawing this flower and I got accidentally on this blue shade and I erased this shade or I made it like a blurry or something and uh, in this moment I want to add a little bit more of the blue but I'm like in the middle of doing another thing so 
like real fast I'm taking another brush and I'm drawing this blue line and then I just keep doing what I was doing before just you know to explain you what was going on with me it's just my opinion and this is what I had today also I'd say if you want to prep your eyes don't use concealer or don't use anything that can crease or that can have like excess of the oil because skin is getting oily as well and I had some issues with this but Overall, I feel like it's such a good discovery for me. I feel like it's not the last look with this palette on my channel. If you want me to keep playing with this palette, please make sure you leave me a comment and tell me about this. And I will do this for you guys. I feel like I'm truly in love with this look. I really love it. I love that it's unique. I love that it's giving me spring vibe. And I've never done anything like that on my channel. So I'm pretty excited about that. So yeah, guys, that's it. That's it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this look. I feel like this purchase was pretty good. And I feel like if you have kids, I mean, guys, just make sure that you're really careful with their skin. But look at this. Come on. It's just so much fun. So yeah, if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you still haven't. If you try this palette or you have another suggestions for me, please make sure that you're writing them in a comment down below and I will be really happy to read your feedback, guys. Also, if you want to be notified about my future videos, please make sure to hit the notification bell and follow me on Instagram because usually I post there different questions. I'm asking your opinion, guys. And it's so important that you're taking part in this. Yeah, guys, thank you for staying with me today. I will see you in my next videos. Love you. Bye.